notice my bed because every single time before I start filming, I pick up my little thing and I throw it so that it looks a little bit better, but not to the point where I actually have to do any work. And that is a perfect representation for the quality of videos on this channel. <laughs> God, I am so good at marketing. I think I'm losing my mind. Hello, people of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. A bunch of people, myself included, have been really grinding on the YouTube game. As a small YouTuber just starting out, it can be hard to come up with new video ideas and even harder to come up with ideas that people actually want to click on because there aren't exactly a lot of people that are invested in you yet. Hopefully, somewhere on this list, it gives you at least one idea or else that's kind of a huge waste of time. At the end of this video, definitely comment down below if you have any other video ideas that aren't on this list that other people watching can use, you know? We're just gonna jump right into the list because I have over a hundred and this is gonna take a while. Okay, so I kind of tried to put these into little sections and the first one that I'm gonna start out with is basic ideas that are pretty common on YouTube but tend to do really well and have high searchability so that there will be a lot of people who find your video, find your channel, and hopefully subscribe. They're just super easy, entertaining videos that will draw a lot of people to your channel. So the first one that is basically like the queen of basic but amazing video concept ideas is hauls. Now this can come in a lot of different forms. It can be something like a try-on clothing haul and make sure that it's try-on because people don't want to see you just like sitting there holding up your little tank top and they don't even get to see what it looks like on. You could also do a try-on swimsuit haul or even like a try-on swimsuit collection just showing off all the bikinis that you already own. You could do a try-on <laughs> Not a this one isn't a try on. Just a school supplies haul. <laughs> you could do a high end makeup haul or even like a specific brand makeup haul. So I've seen a bunch of people do like, oh, I got all the Fenty Beauty new collection thing. That doesn't really make sense. Like, I got all the Fenty Beauty stuff. I don't know. I don't know makeup. Also, drugstore or affordable makeup haul. Dupes, like comparing the high end to the drugstore stuff. Those are so fun to watch. People have things like morning routine, night routine, a hair care, a skin care, or just like a self care routine. People really like watching videos like this. They like learning about new products and even just getting like a little glimpse into your life. Same kind of thing goes with like a day in my life or pulling an all-nighter. It's basically like a vlog type thing, but people just really like watching them. You could do a current playlist video. People are always looking for new music. You could do a workout video with results or else it's just watching people struggle. You could do what I eat in a week, Q&A get productive with me. You could do bake slash cook with me. And this can be serious, like if you're actually talented and can actually cook, or you can do it like me who isn't talented and just tried to be funny. You could do unpopular opinions, a makeup routine, or like a get ready with me for a specific event. You could do a what's on my phone. And this is especially effective for people who either have really, really new models or really, really like crazy old models because their phone is more interesting, I guess. Oh, and also like another version of this is looking back at your old phone from like years ago and just seeing all of the fucking cringy stuff. Also list videos. People will literally watch the entire thing just because they want to hear the entire list. Some examples of this are video ideas like what I'm doing right now, things to do when you're bored, a wish list for like a birthday or Christmas and also kind of in the same realm as that gift ideas people will watch the shit out of these because nobody fucking knows what to get anybody ever I don't care how much you know them like who actually knows what to get people for gifts I don't maybe I'm just a horrible gift giver I don't know another thing that you see all the time but is definitely gonna get you some clicks is a story time if you have anything in your life which I'm sure you do that is like interesting funny embarrassing and you give it an effective title and an effective thumbnail. That took me so many tries to say. People are going to click it. And that is the end of my basic ideas. And now we're gonna move on into something that's a little bit more unique something that's maybe a little bit more out there. These aren't as common and maybe don't have quite as high searchability as like the basic ones, but it's really important for you to like set yourself apart because obviously there are so many people on YouTube and you want to be able to show what you're bringing to the table. What is something different that you offer? So the first thing that I actually really like watching, I am the most untalented person you will ever meet, but I love watching people teach me how to do DIY trends. So like if you know how to sew making DIY trendy clothing pieces, tie dyeing, or even like room decor. So if you're into fashion, a good idea is 
those basic pieces that everyone should have in their wardrobe to like really build outfits off of. And kind of in the same fashion realm, we have how to accessorize or spice up a kind of basic outfit. Recommendations, TV shows, movies, podcasts, books, music, something like that. These are different for everyone and they're gonna have a super high watch time because people aren't just gonna stay for like one of your recommendations. They're gonna wanna hear the whole list. Okay, so my next idea is 24 hours without a phone, which I wanna do, but this requires so much commitment for me. I've seen people do it for like a week. I don't even know what they do all day. <laughs> How I film and edit and just like give some people tips. People are always looking to learn and maybe pick up a new technique. Doing like quizzes, Buzzfeed, or like that, what is it called? The purity test. I've seen people do that and it's so funny. To build off of that, living like your quiz results, maybe don't use the rice purity test for that one, but like maybe more child-friendly content that won't get you a strike on your channel. <laughs> Post-quarantine bucket list. And of course, this is all something that we're going through collectively, so a lot of people can relate to it. To just explain it a little further, it's literally just everything that you want to do with all your friends after quarantine gets out and you can go and have fun again. Another one is trends that need to end or recipes, which you can do like variations of. So you can do like vegan recipes, healthy recipes, quick or like for beginner recipes. Definitely a lot of people who enjoy cooking are going to be clicking on those, especially if it has like some drawing factor like the ones I just read. How to find your aesthetic is another one. People are always kind of looking for their aesthetic. Give them tips. Again, content that brings value. How to save slash make money. And just a little disclaimer on this one, guys, is the community guidelines is like a little bit stingy about YouTube videos that talk about making money. So definitely before you do this one, review the policy. It's nothing like too bad, but just make sure that you're not breaking any rules. So again, for those little fashionistas that want to give some people outfit advice, you could do videos like blank number of ideas. So just like 10 summer outfit ideas or something like that, or a lookbook. This could be what I wear in a week or more like with the times what I would be wearing if I wasn't in quarantine. Again, people are just looking for inspiration or maybe they're even just watching because they love fashion or are interested in learning a little bit more about your style. And another thing is advice videos, something in your expertise. So this can be things like productivity, dealing with procrastination, minimalism. I love watching these videos and I don't know why because I will never be a minimalist. Dealing with mental health or like specific disorders, like how I did a video about my ADHD. If you have something that you have a lot of experience dealing with, help other people who may also have it and be struggling with it. And also like relationship advice or like, you know those videos you see where like, how to tell if a girl likes you, how to tell if a guy likes you, something like that. Those seem to do well. I mean, if you have some knowledge in that respect, why not share it, I guess? You could do how I take slash edit my Instagram pictures. You could do redecorating your room or cleaning your room. That is so incredibly satisfying to watch someone like clean their room on a time lapse so you could also do reacting to something current so obviously this can go a lot of different ways but for example my kind of like little reaction thing that I did to 17 magazines uh, bestie picks bay folks Curtis Connor was kind of doing a series on it at the time and it had a lot of traction it had a lot of buzz around it kind of like bandwagon jumping on that little trend and if you're not just trying to grow your channel you could also do something that you are passionate about if you're genuine about it people are still gonna watch it like even if it isn't the most trendy thing at the moment going off the last one but more on like a serious note you could do something that's like trending as a social issue you could do your own opinions on that kind of just a little bit of commentary if you are informative entertaining articulate it in conveying your ideas people are going to enjoy it people are going to watch it okay so the next section is trends and of course this is only going to be applicable to like around the same time that I'm posting this video and that is late May 2020 so as influencers <laughs> which I say kind of ironically as I have literally no influence it is still super important to stay on top of trends and kind of what is popular in pop culture right now so if you're hopefully watching this around late May 2020 I hope that you guys can find some inspiration from trends that are happening right now. Something that I've seen a lot recently is aesthetic transformations. For example, if you're known for having like a soft girl, dainty demeanor, transform into literally the exact opposite of that goth or e-girl. People want to see a huge, dramatic 
changed. Trying on everything in my closet. I've seen a lot of people do this right now. This requires so much commitment. I did this recently. Six hours of filming and I wanted to cry. And of course, Brandy Melville anything. Some ideas that you could do for that is a haul, a collection. If you maybe happen to have a job there, talking about that. I don't know. It's just very mysterious about what it would be like to work there. And also maybe like the social commentary that I talked about earlier. Also assumptions about me. Or testing TikTok products. Trying to learn dances doing online school with me. You could also do something about prom. A lot of seniors proms got canceled. My heart goes out to you guys. I would be very, very, very upset if my prom got canceled. And it can be kind of sweet and heartfelt, maybe even comforting for you to do something that's kind of like having your own prom anyway. What I would have worn, how I would have done my makeup, how I would have done my hair for prom. And I've also seen people do like virtual proms, like Zoom calls, everybody gets dressed up and oh, it's so sweet and I love watching them. 24 hour glow up, you just fucking go all out and do everything possible. People wanna see big change, they wanna see drama. Anything related to thrifting, a thrift flip if you're talented like that. <laughs> thrifting with me, like a little vlog thing. Thrifting tips. You could also do someone else chooses your outfits. Waking up at 5 a.m. I recently did this and holy fuck does this require commitment. And also just YouTube advice, like how to gain subs, getting monetized. First YouTube check, how to do thumbnails, or just how to stay motivated to keep creating content. And this would be especially effective if you actually are monetized or actually have like a lot of subs because then people can see that your tips will work and then also another trend that is going around right now anything animal crossing <laughs> this game is so big right now literally nintendo switches were sold out everywhere when this game came out some ideas for that is an outfit lookbook a dream island tour how to effectively decorate your island just a plain old let's play which are super fun to watch especially for the people who unfortunately weren't able to get the game they like watching them and then i also have some ideas that you can do for more of like a personal video something to keep memories even for just like your returning subscribers who are already kind of invested in you and want to learn more about you if you think about it nobody is really gonna want to watch a personal video about someone that they've never heard of never seen as a small youtuber personal videos usually don't do as well or help your channel to grow as much as others might but whoever said every video that you make has to get massive and get your channel to blow up it doesn't I found that these videos are some of the most fun to make I did a Q&A with my sister recently and it was so much fun. That's definitely one of my favorite videos I've ever made. Just make sure that if you are hoping to grow that you're not making all personal videos. So you could do something like 50 facts about me or however many facts you want or like an honest rant. These are definitely both something that would more interest returning subscribers. But then we also have like vlogs, going to school with your friends, with your family, a vacation vlog. And you can also do something like an original song, an original poem, or like an original short story. Those are definitely fun videos to watch on channels that I've been subscribed to for a while. You could also do like New Year's resolution, which I know is like kind of really specific to the time, but you could even do like self-improvement, things that you want to make better about yourself, an honest Q&A, like opening up to your subscribers type thing. Also, you could do milestone videos, which is definitely more for like memories. Some examples that I thought of is like your graduation, one year on YouTube, or you turn 16 or something like that. Those aren't something that a lot of people who don't know you are going to watch, but it could definitely be something that your subscribers love and that you love making. For the very last category today, I wanted to do something that I've never actually seen on one of these like video ideas videos. <laughs> there are a lot of concepts that I have listed out here and it is so important for you to make sure that your videos are not cookie cutter exactly like someone else's. You want to be able to put your own spin on them. All of these can be applied to a lot of different concepts and I'm just going to list them and then give you an example of a video that you could use it for. Recipes, how I said that you could do like vegan. Anything that makes it unique. So you could even use your age as a factor to set something apart. So you could do like teen get ready with me. For like clothing hauls, you could do modest, plus sized, or petite. If you speak another language, do like a get ready with me or a makeup routine, but in a different language and then put like English subtitles. I don't know why it makes it so much more interesting, but it does. If you have other people who are willing to be on camera with you, literally so many of these video concepts you could do with like friends, family, boyfriend, a collab with another YouTuber. They can add so much 
to the video and really if you have good chemistry on camera make it so much more entertaining than it would be without them so this is another one that requires others participation someone else does the voiceover of a video so this could be like trying on something doing your makeup I don't really know any other examples but I'm sure you could get creative with it I saw a girl do her morning routine narrated by Siri and it was so fucking funny so if you don't have anybody who's willing to participate in a video just use Siri it is literally equally as entertaining another thing that you could do is like on a school night or during school or for school so this could be like night routine for school pulling an all-nighter on a school night also since you know we're in quarantine and you can't really do those obviously your quarantine morning routine is gonna be a lot different from your in school morning routine another one is seasonal so I've seen people do like fall outfits redecorating my room for fall or any of the other four seasons <laughs> my very last thing that I have for you guys is who said that you have to use any of these video concepts just once. If there is something in your morning routine, for example, that you have changed or you got a new phone or whatever, you could do an updated version of any of your old videos. People who have previously seen the old video will be more likely to click on this updated one, but then people who see this video who haven't watched the old one will also be drawn back to that one and you'll get even more watch time from both videos. Okay guys, so we are officially all the way through 100 plus video ideas. I don't really know how many I have exactly right now because I added a couple and I took a couple out. And just a reminder for you guys to comment down below any video ideas that you have that you think other people would benefit from, any video ideas that you want me to see, or any video ideas on this list that you are going to do. All right, guys, but that is just about all from me. I really, really, really do hope that you enjoyed this video. And I would just like to thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. If you haven't already, you definitely should. It only takes a second and it would really help me out. I will see you in my next video. Bye.